We've got puzzles today. We've got Ella Propella from Jean-Claude Constantine, and we've got this tricky little snapper Whoa. puzzle from Phylos. See if Tony can solve it. He can't. Puzzle time. Welcome. Episode 65. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So today, a um, couple things. Episode 63, we did a giveaway for Cast Rotor. Yeah. If you want yours, you got to uh, comment on the video. I believe yeah. that's what we're going on. Comment. Comment on the video. Get your uh, copy of Cast Rotor. It's, like, it's, it's the hardest level, but it's a two piece puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Cast Rotor. We'll give it away. Comment on episode 63. Also, in episode 63, we uh, extend extend the 100 like challenge. Hmm. Puzzle guy wants to see us jumping in the snow, doing puzzles in the hot tub. Loser has to, uh, first, whoever can't solve the puzzle jumps in the snow, right? That's what it is, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, go to episode 63, like that video, um, we get 75 likes. Maybe suggest what puzzle we should do. That too, that too. Also. Yeah. So if we get 75 likes on that video, we will be jumping into the snow. We're doing 75 because on the previous one where we did the 100 likes challenge, we only got 25 likes. Mm -hmm. So we can get that 75 maybe between the two, get us 100, we wanna do this. So yeah, episode 63, go like that video. Cool. Let's get into the puzzles today. Do you wanna start? Do you want to start easier or harder? Actually, do you want to start with one I know how to solve or one you, neither of us knows how to solve? Uh, go with the one neither of us know. Okay, yeah, we'll let's go start with there. One. Ella Propella. We had a whole bunch of uh, Jean-Claude stuff come in. Boxes and boxes and boxes. This is not a new puzzle. This is an old puzzle. This restock. is a restock essentially, but Jean-Claude has three new puzzles in this shipment that have come in. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, well, yeah, we're not going to shoot them today because they actually weren't unpacked yet. So, but we are doing Ella Propella. This is a good, um, good little puzzle. I think it's, it's. I don't know what you can call. It. I was going to say sequential discovery, but it's not really. It's just, it's kind of a puzzle box. Hey, well, it's not even a puzzle box. You got to get the the ball bearing out. Hey. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah, from Jean Claude Ella Propella, little simple one. It's um, laser cut wood. So this acrylic little gear shape. It looks like there's a couple magnets in there, hey? Yes, magnets also, yes. Yeah. Um, there's a little pin yeah. in, the, in the propeller. Yeah. It goes up and down. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay, I should say this is a level seven. So that's, uh, that's another thing. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta get the ball bearing out. Yeah, I mean, you can see it in the side, eh? Can you? With that little pin, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, you can. See right here. You can see, I don't know if this is going to show, let's see. Right in there, you can see the pin. See the pin's here. You can actually see it in there. So, I mean, do you think, like, if you look, I mean, that pin doesn't line up with those magnets. What do you think? There's a little hole right there. You see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to See, now look, look, I have mine upside down. It spins the whole way and this top doesn't spin. Okay. Okay. I bet you you drop the ball bearing into that hole, and then the propeller. Once you get that pin out of the way, the propeller spins and allows the ball bearing to come out that hole. So we figured out the how. Now we just or the I don't know what to call that the method of the the release. But now we just got to do it. So how do you how do you get that pin to drop? So essentially, that pin is all. We, we, as soon as we can release that and get it to drop into that hole right there. 
I don't know. Okay, well, you've, you've seen, I, I think oh, the people... Oh, guy. What? There's a magnet on the bottom of this one. On the bottom of what? On the bottom of this propeller. Yeah? Yeah. I think you might have to line up these magnets somehow. At the, oh, dude, I bet you that's what it is. So there's a magnet in here. I bet you they have both of the opposing sides facing each other. And that's what's pushing the disc around. That's okay. why when we go around like this, it pushes it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. It looks like it's sort of blocking it on both sides. So what do you have to do? Weird. I don't know. Man. I'm not sure. This, this is a cool puzzle. This. this is a cool puzzle. I like this one. Hey, I, I like the idea. We're not getting it. Okay. So a lot going on with that. There is. There is. And it's a good one. Okay. So let's move on. I don't know if we said it actually. This is a level seven too. So oh. we should have been able to do Oof. it. I feel like we should have been able. We got defeated by a puzzle that we should have been able to beat. So whatever. Okay. There it is. Ella Propella from Jean-Claude. Okay. Next we're on to it's called the snapper. Tony, I'm gonna, I know the solution to this one. Okay. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay. And then you gotta reproduce it. Okay? Whoa. So, essentially, this puzzle has a couple things. There's a hole, there's an elastic, and there's a hook on the end of this piece. Mm -hmm. What you need to do, you need to hook that elastic with the hook and get it to hook on there and then release it. Okay? So I'm gonna do it. So just give me a second here. Just, just watch real closely. It's all about feel, so you can't see anything in this one. Come on. Ah. Okay, I think I got it. I think. Yeah, yeah I got it. Okay, ready? Yeah. There. See. See. So like it hooks on. I'll. Uh, I'll. Re well, it's re did it release? Yeah. It released. Okay. So there. So okay. now Tony. I'm ready. You got to reproduce it. You got to do do that hook the elastic. I should say while Tony's doing this, this puzzle is from Phylos. Um, Phylos does some really interesting puzzles. So not a hard one. It's called the Snapper. Um, yeah. So we'll see if Tony can do it. No ideas? All right, you're up. Oh, you want me to show you again, or you want me just to, to give it away? Okay, ready? I'll do it. I'll do it real quick here. Okay. Oh, there we go. No? Yeah. Okay, wait, let wait. me read. All right, it's released. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, I love this puzzle. This, this might be my new favorite puzzle. Okay, what is it? <laughs> okay, Tony's done. It's all about design, okay? This puzzle is beautifully, wonderfully designed. And it's actually not a puzzle, it's just a trick. Um, literally, you're made to think that the you're gonna hook that. Literally, all I'm doing is I'm just pushing. It's making you think that the elastic's hooked on, I'm just squeezing the end. <laughs> so, it's just a trick. It's literally not a puzzle. There's nothing in there to hook onto. It just, it makes it look like you've hooked the elastic and it's pulling it back, but you're literally just going like that. <laughs> it's so genius. Stupidly simple, but wonderful. Hey, all right. Snapper. Whatever, man. The snapper trick, technically it's called. I put the wrong name on there. I even put a level. I actually put on our thing. I tricked Tony. I put a level seven on there. Right. Just so he thought it was a puzzle. It's just a trick and <laughs> it was so good. I like getting this. Aaron was like, so confused he sat there for like a few minutes just playing with it and nothing do it huh? but it's just Jeez. he was close he was close because he like kind of was put like he was like thinking about stuff a bit. i know he, i he was, was thinking close. about just being like Psh. but yeah yeah i got so, it it's just yeah it's just a dumb trick but <laughs> i like that one nice and silly cool yeah cool so that was it i also actually i got another trick for you tony so now, I have heard. yeah, I've got a card trick for Tony. Now, if you remember, if you've been watching Puzzle Time from the start, Tony had some card tricks at the start, right? You did some. I used some... my three magic tricks. Yeah, he had a few. Yeah. I have learned one, Tony. I have learned a special magic trick. Now, to show you, I'm just gonna have to get, I'm gonna get up because it's too hard to, it's awkward to do it right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna flip this around. Tony, if you want, you want to position that top camera. So I've got to, you just, you just aim it at me. It should work, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, Mick, can you turn it this way? You can get me? Just a little? Yeah, there whatever you want. Whatever you think is best. So, you ready? All right. Okay. Yeah, ready. Okay, so you concentrate. This is, I got a deck of cards here. Okay. okay. Cards here, oh, this is some weird, I don't know what that is. Deck of cards. Um, I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna pull out the kings. I got kings. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, I got, I got them. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, four kings right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take those kings, I'm gonna spread them out like this, okay? So you're gonna see them. There we go. Spread them out for you. Right there. See all four? Yep. Okay, right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wave my hand. Ready? I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change the kings right before your eyes, yeah, Tony. All right, I'm ready. Hey, ready? Yeah. Ready? Wave my hand. Of course. Waving my hand. Ready? Waving my hand. Yeah, do it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I so screwed it up. <laughs> oh, I turned it into nines. Wait, wait. Hold on. I'm going to turn it back into kings. Wow, man. <laughs> if your hands were smoother, that would be an awesome. Trick. I am so terrible. I screwed that up. That was awesome. Uh, I'm sorry, Chris Ramsey. I have failed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a simple trick. I saw a YouTube video. Nice. I figured I'd like try trick Tony. You know, it worked good the, the first time I did it. I was like, I was, I was practicing, hey, up here. And I was like, okay, ready? I'm gonna wave my hands and oh, nines. Yeah, yeah. Wait, ready? Oh, back to kings. Sick. <laughs> good, see, yeah. there you go. Trick. Dude, and I was, uh, the first time I was trying to do them on camera too, like I was just trying to do a snap change on camera, but like to hide that bottom oh, card, you're sitting, like it took me over an hour to get a good shot of it. It's man. so hard, man. So like when you try doing this stuff, man, I really appreciate Chris Ramsey and those guys that, that do magic tricks. They are, huh. That is. I can't imagine how long they're actually sitting oh, there for just Mike. one trick, man. Because absolutely, kept, you keep showing the bottom card the whole it's time. It's so hard. I was yeah. trying like to do it. I screwed it up when I did too, but I, like I had it, I had it right the first like when I was playing mm -hmm. on my own. But yeah, and sleight of hand is hard, and it's hard Especially to make when it you're look good. It, man. Oh. It's weird. Yeah. So, yeah. good job, Chris. You uh, you are a much better man than us at card tricks. So yeah, on that note, if you like uh, card tricks and puzzles, go check out Chris Ramsey's YouTube channel. He is on everything, man. He's on like, yeah, yeah. he's on every social out there. So find him. But yeah, that's uh, that's our card trick. No riddle for everyone today. But what we do have, we do have the online buzz. The mm -hmm. online buzz. Okay, online buzz. So first up, um, one of my new favorite channels. Uh, what did I get myself into? You remember this guy? This is the guy and the little girl. Yeah, yeah, and he has like some sort of medical condition where he like broke his back and he can't move yeah, very yeah, well. Yeah, 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 I got gotcha. you. Really, really good channel, guys. You got to go check this out. They only have 110 subscribers, I think, on YouTube or something like that. It's very small, they're much started, smaller than it should started. be. But they have a bunch of videos and they're good. I really like his stuff. So check it out. Um, him. He and his daughter shoot. Um, I think some of the more recent stuff, he isn't with his daughter. Okay. But some of the other stuff he is, he has her in there. And I, I thought it was kind of funny because she runs the show a bit when she's there. So. But he did a really good puzzle recently called Bolt Action. It's a puzzle by a guy named Alan Lansford. Um, and so he solves it. It's a sequential discovery. It's just a little box. Some bolts come out of it. Um, and there's a coin I think you got to release. And cool. so this is actually Alan's second puzzle. The first one I watched um, on what did I get myself into as well. And it was a puzzle called Unsafe Deposit, which has like a bunch of coins in it and stuff and bolts again, but really neat. I think they're 3D printed containers with like uh, bolts and some stuff in them. But uh, yeah, good puzzle. Check out their channel, subscribe to their stuff. Um, really good. What did I get myself into? Love their videos. Um, and a great place to find some unique puzzles. Next, um, the Puzzling Corner. This is a uh, Puzzle in Pieces. He kind of changed his name recently. The Puzzling Corner. You remember Puzzle, puzzle in Pieces? That guy with like the really raspy voice. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's so yeah, good. Nice. So, uh, la was it last episode or two episodes ago? We did uh, the Tesla Box, mm -hmm. Tesla's Box by Andy Gilker. Uh, puzzle, the Puzzling he does Corner. Those? Yeah, he does it. He got the puzzle. Uh, 
Oh, that's a stressful but puzzle. But he didn't do it. He didn't do it in the puzzle. What he did, he, he or in the video, I mean, he didn't do the puzzle. He uh, shows you the puzzle, says he has it, puts it out there, talks about it, shows all the pieces. And then he uh, says, he apparently he's gonna be shooting like more videos. And he's asking people to comment what they think he should do. So like, I think he, he, A, you can comment and like direct him as he's like, solving this so it sounds like it next like video or something. yeah i think it'd be yeah. really cool to do live but this is what he's doing so go to the video comment what you think he should do um assuming you haven't seen the solution i think chris ramsey did it but mm -hmm. yeah check it out the puzzling corner by puzzle in pieces um really good lots of videos there so comment on his most recent video okay now, okay, now there's another one. This one I'm actually pretty excited about. Uh, QB, now we've talked about QB on here. QB is all Spanish, I think, I don't know where he's from, but fully Spanish videos, all puzzle stuff. And he does a lot of like unboxing. Um, and in this video I watched, this is his most recent video, at least at the time we're shooting this. Um, and it was posted on February 17th. So uh, he does two puzzles. One's like a pretty simple pyramid one. I think we actually have it. It's out of wood and it's like three like triangular pieces that make a pyramid. Yep. But he does another puzzle in there that I'd never seen before. I still don't even technically know what it's called, but it's this big, huge wooden box that has little squares all over it. Like it's like different heights of squares okay. all over it. And they're cut out of wood. It looks really nice. Uh, it's a sequential discovery puzzle. Um, and it's a, it's a fairly big box. It's by a guy named Christian Cesar. Cesar, I think is how you say C-S-I-S-Z-A-R. I -S -S I don't know, it's weird. Christian Cesar, he has his own YouTube channel though. I checked it out, super good puzzle. It's got some buttons on it. So some of the, some of the, the cube Spurs, pieces are yeah, like buttons. buttons. Yeah. Um, really cool solution. I watched the solution. Um, yeah, and it's good. So if you see speak Spanish, I'm sure you'll understand a whole lot more of what's happening. I just watched it and it was good. So um, yeah, it's some sort of cube thing. I'd, I'd love to get it here at Puzzle Master. We don't have it, but, and I've never heard of this guy, but one day. One day. Yeah, so that's QB. Uh, last, Puzzle Time. Now he, uh, Puzzle Time is not a big channel again. I always like these little guys shooting stuff and they have some cool puzzles that they come across. This one, he picked up a couple puzzles and it sounds like they were on YouTube or something, or not, uh, on eBay or something. He bought them on some auction site. They're not new things. Uh, they're puzzles, metal puzzles by Binary Arts. And one of them was this like metal cutout of um, the United States and it had little mm -hmm. pathways in it with uh, like pay, uh, holes at the ends of the pathways. And you get this little car with two pegs on the bottom of it and the pegs fit into the holes and you got to like remove the car through the pathways and then every so often you can lift a peg up and put it into another pathway huh. so it's a really cool little like puzzle again i don't think it's available for purchase kind of like anywhere commercially you have to like purchase on youtube or uh, ebay or some sort of auction site but uh, he had that and then there's another one too that wasn't quite as good it was like a metal more or less a packing puzzle but that America one with the car, I thought was really cool. So it just shows you like the United States and mm -hmm. weave the car through it. So I thought that was neat. And puzzle time, I, I appreciate just finding some of these unique puzzles like that. So yeah, cool. That's it for Online Buzz. That's all we got. Like, subscribe, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Head to the website for... Puzzlemaster.ca, yeah. The new sign up for the newsletter. Check out, uh, check out all the products or check out all the stuff that came in from Jean-Claude. Like I said, That's lots of Jean-Claude Constantine puzzles came back in stock. So there'd be a ton of things that you'll probably want to get Bunch that of new stuff. are available Bunch again. New stuff too. Yeah. Huge shipment, huge shipment. So yeah, puzzlemaster.ca. Thank you guys for watching. This has been episode 65 of Puzzle Time with Tony and Tyler. Yeah.